Alright, how's it going everyone? Welcome to another episode of Stardew Valley Escarp Plus. So, I forgot to hit the record button. I didn't really do much. I just watered my crops and checked the TV and here we are in the mines. This, yes, this is, the, this is the mines. This is the first level. It's a pretty neat mod. Um, if you're wanting to get this, it's from a place called Naver, which is a Korean website. You have to like sign up for it and stuff. It's a little annoying to sign up for, but there are instructions i will leave the instructions that i've seen on the in the description but anyways let's go ahead and deposit this stuff there is some fruit in here so i'll take these Ooh, a peach and an apricot it's actually pretty neat all right we're gonna go into the mines um how far have i went 40 we can just take the elevator All right. Just kill the monsters. I did have a, another mine mod I wanted to use from Naver, but it just I could not get it to work with the farm without the farm cave changing, which uh, messed up with the which messed up the farm mod I was using the farm cave mod so I decided just to go back to cuter mines which is fine they both look great gotta love when music pops up I'll go ahead and be quiet while the music plays things huh oh great iron edge claymore uh we'll see how this works can, can you hurry up i don't have all day you know Oh, come on with that. That hit was invalid. There we go. Ooh, a bomb. I kind of want that bomb. Take it over the rock. Alright, let's see if we can do this. Now, this looks like one, two, three... Um, four. What what would four look at? I, I don't know what four would be. This? Oh my god, I didn't think I'd get this far. Now the rest are just... Um... Well, we, we're learning. We're learning. Um, we'll go ahead and exit the cave. And we'll use this chest. There we go. And then... Do this, go to floor 44, and there we go. Ooh, lots of boxes. I'll take that. Oh, my inventory is almost full again. I uh, think I need to upgrade my backpack. Which I have the money for, so we could easily do that. Is that, the, what I, is that what I think it is? It is. Oh, wait, I already have one. Uh, this probably sells for more. Alright, the Claymore is great. It does a lot of damage. It's just really slow. Which I'm fine with, to be honest, right now. Let's, let's see. That's 22 to 30. That's 18 to 28. I mean, this does have more knockback and crit power and resistance. So I do think I'm going to stick with the Claymore. We can go ahead and leave again. And do this. Move this around, and there we go. Go to floor 45. Making progress. Though progress has been made 
a lot easier. I hate fighting the slimes so much. There we go. Alright, so we just have to search for the exit. That should be easy enough. And it has been found. Alright, new level. slow speed isn't that bad but like when my character turns when I'm still facing this way with the arrow even though I have a mod for it it's kind of annoying there we go alright hurry up bat I know you're er, pigeon bird thing I know you're there Down the ladder. Oh my god. <laughs> Found the multiple ladders. I don't know why my character just stops attacking all of a sudden and then starts re-attacking when I'm holding it down. Also, I just noticed I found some daggers. Wow. Wow, that dagger has knockback? That's crazy, and it's a level one dagger. Uh, my inventory's full. I'd rather have the winter root just for, uh, the bundles. strong is this weapon 23 to 69 I mean it, it's it's a club and it's probably get rid of the sap it's probably like slow and it doesn't have the resistance it doesn't have the crit power oh yeah it's super slow and you only get two hits when you hold it we're probably not gonna use it Plus, knowing, you know, some things, uh, it's probably just gonna hit, like, most of the time, like, 23, and not the other part that you want it to hit. There's another ring. No, run. Must get coal rock. Leveled up mining. Alright, down we go. All right, let's leave. Let's do this. This is essential. Having that chest here is just amazing. All right, do this. Go to 48. You know, I said I don't want to rush the, like, mines and stuff. I don't really care about rushing it this time, but, like... We're already almost to floor 50, and it's only Friday, you know, Friday the 12th of spring. Ooh, some new boots. I will take those. Nice, now they're, bl like, nice icy blue. Oh my god, I know I'm almost dead. The slimes are like the hardest thing in this in this game still. It's like it's crazy how much Speaking of slime, we're going to go around the other way because I don't really want to fight them to be honest, even though I only have to kill 500 for the slime ring and they're just really annoying with this weapon. Oh, it's mad, it's angry.
All right. This is gonna give us some mushrooms. Um. Wait, what? What is that? Ooh. I'll take it. All right. Exit discovered. And we're gonna go ahead and do this. Leave the mines. Store everything in this chest. And we're gonna go back into floor 49. No, leave me alone. The exit's right there, so we're gonna make it to fifth. Oh, there's another exit. There is a lot of slime here. Like, attack. My okay, so I went to attack, right? And it, like, wouldn't let me attack even though I was pressing it. And then I had to, like, slam my finger down on the mouse key for it to actually hit. Like, sometimes it just pauses the attack, and I have no idea why it's doing that. Like, right there. I went to do the attack, and it just wouldn't do it. Oh, there is items up here. Wisdom fertilizer. Interesting. Six miners treats, nice. All right, we made it to floor 50. That's crazy. So what we're gonna do, store everything in here. And we're gonna go to this, pick this up. And I'll see you guys back on the farm. All right, everything has been organized. I think I'm gonna stick with the Claymore. So we're gonna sell all these other weapons. That's crazy. No wonder the game doesn't usually let you do this. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go to bed. Let's see what happens tomorrow. Level 3 combat, nice. Level 4 mining. And of course, we make a bunch of money, which is always nice. Alright, let's check the news. Rain all day tomorrow. Ooh, we, we gotta go back to the mines again. Are you kidding me? Oh, we get the farm cave. Nice. I think that's tied with Greenhorn, the achievement. So, that's pretty cool. Hi, Kingly. I have some good news for you. A few days ago, I made a breakthrough in my research on the local environment. I'll spare you the technical details and get to the point. You know that empty cave over there, a little ways to the west? We'll have a way to turn it into something useful both of us. I'd like to set up the cave to attract some local species. That way I can observe them in a more controlled environment and you can harvest whatever products they produce. Set up the cave to attract fruit bats. I'll sometimes leave fruit for you to collect. To grow mushrooms every day. I can set up the cave to attract Junimo and other fake creatures who are known to leave flowers and mushrooms for worthy humans. Berries. Alright, I'll go set it up for you right now. Shouldn't take any time at all. Thanks for letting me do this. No thank you for doing it. So we'll go check that out real quick before we go, uh, you know, deal with the crops. This is the farm cave. And here is the, you know, farm cave. It looks really great. I love, I love it. It's pretty big. Wow. I didn't think it was this big, but it's supposed to attract some flowers and stuff. So we'll see. Just got to leave it going for a couple days or so. All right. Well, let's go water the crops. We're almost to level four in farming, which would be nice. We'll get that when we harvest the crops, probably. Like these parsnips. All right, so how many gold parsnips did I get? I think three. So I need two more at least. Will the game be kind? It gave me one, it gave me two. We're good. And if we get three, we're definitely good. Okay, we're good. All right, we're definitely good. We're really good. All right, I'm gonna water the rest. I'll be right back. All right, let's get to the egg festival. The uh, town's gonna look a little different. It's gonna look very different, but it's gonna look a little different. Just like the bus, it looks a little different. 
I think time is moving way, way quicker than vanilla. So I might change it. I might move them up a notch. We'll see. Alright. Now I can buy a hell of a lot of strawberry seeds. So much so that it might be worth it to do it now. How many could I buy? I, got, I could buy... For a hundred, I could buy about... 25? Oh. I think I bought enough. <laughs> I think I went overboard. We'll do with a hundred. Alright, let's get to talking. Oh man, I remember when Henry and I used to participate in the egg hunt when we were rascals. It's a shame Lewis won't let us participate anymore. Ugh, still it's Abigail for some reason. Our hands have been working overtime to prepare for this festival. They deserve the best tonight. Bowls full of sweet yellow corn. Awesome. Hello, Kingly. You know, it would be nice if the kids can win the egg hunt for once. But Abigail, she's been winning it every year since she was a child. Very competitive spirit, that lass. Well, I will be winning this time. Hopefully, probably. Most likely, it's not that hard, but, like... Like, I, I find it funny that we go in there and we just... Be, like, win against a bunch of children. No one really talks to me. I just come for the deviled eggs. That's a good reason to come here. Is there any more food? Um, probably not. <laughs> yeah, I put something nice into the punch. Shh, that's just between you and me, kid. You know there's kids that drink out of that, right? Hey, farmer, you gonna chase after the eggs? Me? Nah, I think I'd rather hang back and check out that talent. The egg festival holds great spiritual significance. The world is being reborn anew. Spring is a busy time of year, so it's nice to have a day off to catch up with friends. Abby's always loved the egg hunt ever since she was a tiny girl. Robin invited Erie. I just tagged along. I wanted to enjoy festivals, but Robin invited me along. But honestly, now I'm glad I didn't skip it. Sometimes I'll hide an egg well, and no one finds it. Well, until summer rolls around, and the hot air starts to bring out the rotten smell. <laughs> that would that would be nasty. Even with my bad leg, I never miss a town festival. You like my hat? I was at the library last week and Vincent, Jazz, and Eloise were planning on painting eggs for the egg festival. Eloise said my head looked like an egg. Long story short, Vincent made this hat for me. I'm pulling it off though. Yeah, it looks really nice. I couldn't t really tell what it was at first, but now I understand what it is. We're definitely gonna go visit the best pal, Dusty. Dusty loves the egg festival, maybe because he knows he gets his own eggs. He's waiting patiently in his doghouse. Alright, let's go around and talk to everyone over here. We're gonna talk to Willie. I tried at least I try to eat at least three eggs every day. I need that protein for my legs. The festival is alright, but what I'm really looking forward to is the flower dance. I'm not. This festival has been a tradition for as long as I remember. Tradition connects us with both both the past and the future. It's comforting. What's everyone so happy about? Huh. Eggs? Why eggs? That was the uh, friendship uh, bonus going up. The skill. Yeah, that's it. I remember when Abigail was too small to even join in. Come on. Come on. Nope. There we go. Perfect alignment. A little bit higher than for the pixels, but oh well, it works. Eggs definitely have a place in the well-balanced diet. Oops, I should take off my doctor's hat for the time being. Egg. What a strange thing to eat. It's not really that strange. Hope everyone's enjoying the food. I've been cooking for days to get everything ready. Fried eggs, boiled eggs, poached eggs, deviled eggs, scrambled eggs, chocolate eggs, you name it. A lot of eggs. Welcome to the egg festival. Compliments on my wonderful brood of hens. Vincent loves the festival. It's a joy to see him so happy. I 
I've been up since dawn coloring eggs. It's always my favorite part of the season. Mm, this fruit punch is unusually good. Uh-oh. Taking breaks from work can make you more productive in the long run. And we finally... Did I ever meet Henry? I don't think I did. Well, we finally meet Henry. Sterling really seems to hung up on not being able to participate in the egg hunt for some reason. I know it was fun, but we were kids back then. Things change. Also, if I'm making some errors talking, it's because I'm on like day four now of my like teeth being ripped out of, you know, a tooth being ripped out of my mouth. So I'm still like recovering from that, but I wanted to record. So I figured it would be fine. I'm going to make some errors though. I apologize about that. I hope you can see that someday. Honestly, I just like what a good excuse to dress up the egg festival is. I love the countryside, but I do find myself missing a lot of my wardrobe. Man, I really hate eggs. Searching for eggs is like going on a treasure hunt. Ugh, my nose allergies. Oh, I see you over here. Mer. Friendship is going up really fast on the festival days. Did you know a hen lays around 530 eggs in her lifetime? Hello, Kingly. I at least love birds. But she's never been particularly interested in the egg hunt, probably because Abigail always wins. Well, it is an adult versus kids, so I mean... I hope I can find some eggs before Vincent takes them all. When does the egg hunt start? I'm so excited. Children have been looking forward to this festival for weeks. I always look forward to these gatherings. It makes the valley feel like a real community. Alright, so... Is there anyone else I haven't talked to? I'm guessing the wizard is somewhere around here. But he's not an actual NPC in this version, so... I don't think I have to find him. I think that's all the NPCs. Also, did you notice the house buildings? They've changed. Oh! Oh, I'm so glad I didn't start it yet. I am just a normal person in an egg suit. Please carry on. That's... I believe that's Sin, yeah. That's... that's cute. Alright, well, let's go ahead and start this egg festival and stomp some children, I guess. Well, Abigail isn't the only one. Everyone's talking about Abigail, but Maru and Sam's in here, too. It's time for the highlight of today's festivities, the annual spring egg hunt. Calm down now, kiddos. You're going to need all your energy if you hope to find the most eggs and take home the exclusive prize. Now, is, ever is everyone ready? Let the egg hunt begin! Alright, I always go up this way. There's one. There's two. Oh, I'm not gonna count. You can actually see it up there. I usually go around this way and not worry about that side, but I saw those eggs and I went for it. So we're gonna go this way now and go for these ones. I know there's some behind the store over there. Probably not worth going for. Seven. I think we need nine to win. Come on, come on, come on. Ten eggs. We should win. Look at that. Look, cute egg over there. Wow, look at all these eggs. Now, if only I could get you kids to pick up litter this efficiently, we'd have the cleanest town this side of the gym sea. <laughs> and now, the winner of this year's egg hunt. Kingly. Here's your prize. Enjoy. Well, that's it for this year's egg festival. Thanks for coming, everyone. Awesome. 
Now I give me a nice hat. Let's uh put this stuff up. So strawberries. I got the energy to go plant some strawberries. So I'm going to go plant some strawberries. We'll fix the river um, after this year, so I'm not worried about it. And I will use this fertilizer too. Uh, I guess I'll use this and this too. Might as well. I'll see you guys soon. Alright, I could not plant them all. Time is going way faster than vanilla, and I need to change that because that is kind of annoying. I mean, we get a fit more days in, so I guess that's great and all, but like, it's still pretty annoying when that happens when you're you know time's going by so fast you don't have time to do anything so i'll be right back all right there we go so yeah it might it's gonna look random as all heck but that's fine it's not that big of a deal all right i got some stuff to deposit real quick some more parsnips which we can go ahead and sell these off we could sell all these but five because we need five, right? Yeah, five. All right, so we could sell those. Let's go ahead and sell this blue jazz, this tulips, this silver quality of anything. Oh, wait, not these, not these. These. Oh, also, ignore that pop up. I have to turn off Steam Overlay. I found out the game has a snapshot mode, which I wish I kind of knew. I wish I would have knew about that because that would have been nice. All right, let's go ahead and sell these. It is Sunday. It is a new day, so we can give gifts. So I'm going to actually give gifts today. No mines, just gifts. Let's grab... All right. Let's grab... Let's grab these and let's grab these i'm just gonna give these as a gift because they don't sell for much i can make most of my money off the mines anyways and this money making thing i'm gonna be doing so i'm not really worried about it i don't need blue jazz or tulip for anything so yeah the rest can just stay here i guess except for wait i have to make sure of this for caroline it was daffodil okay give her a daffodil all right so that was from mom and our farm will be in the next stardew valley tribune nice all right sweet all right now i just needed to rain for the next eight days so that'd be nice um get the cat let's check the tv greetings it is i the queen of sauce here to teach you a new math water and recipe for my secret cookbook this week's dish Coleslaw, visioning bland mounds of limp cabbage, you're not alone. The great coleslaw can be so much more. Make sure you have juicy fresh cabbage for this one. Toss with a little vinegar and mayonnaise and you're all set. Ah, that's crisp. Nice. Alright, what's tomorrow's weather gonna be? Clear and sunny, of course. Good humor today. Well, you know, I am gonna be watering my crops manually, so I think we could easily do this. Now you might be thinking, oh, you should do that before it waters. Nope. And I got my watering can upgraded right away. We can actually do that with most of our tools, really. Like the axe. It's, uh, it, it's the one, it's a mod that lets you get your tools the same day you do it. I've done the upgrades for my tools so much, it doesn't matter to me. Wait, why is it not working? Oh, I can only do it once a day. Okay, well, that's fine. Don't need to be cheesy that much. All right, so the watering can is upgraded now, so that's awesome. And we can even upgrade it further if I wanted to. Wait, let's test that. Will it work with the watering can? Why'd the watering can work, but not the axe? That's a little weird. Huh. Alright, well, I don't want to waste any more money. We're going to go get a bag slot upgrade because, well, we need it. And we're going to go give some people some gifts. 
because I need to. I enjoy the rainy season. I wish it rained here more. I mean, it does rain often, but it's not like often, often. But man, I enjoy the rain. It is Haley's birthday today. We missed Vincent's. That's fine. All right, Sterling, here you go. How's it going, Pierre? Backpack upgraded. Nice. What are you selling, Pierre? Nothing I really care to... Alright, finally got the mirror. Should have got that in the mail in the first place, but it didn't work, so... Cool. Alright, one sec. Sorry about that. I had to fix my throat a little bit. I think I need to go get a drink, but we'll do that in a minute. There you go. Yep, I know you were hungry. And does that bring us up a heart with Caroline? No, it doesn't hunt. Oh, God. Let's talk to Caroline, too. All right, give me a sec. I'm going to go get a drink, and I'm going to customize my character real quick, and I'll see you soon. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. I put on a raincoat pretty much. Well, it's not a raincoat. It's Traveler's Attire. That's the name of the mod. But it works. It looks like a raincoat. Alright, so. Definitely gotta give you... Do you like parsnips? Awesome. Alright. We gotta give more gifts. So I wanna go to East Scarp and give more gifts there. So let's actually take this road since we can uh, stop by Juliet's house too. Jesse and Juliet's. I'll take that. Can't take the uh, cart yet, sadly. Got to repair the. Uh, or got to do some of the um, community center stuff, which we're working on. We'll get there. All right. Go ahead and give you this. Let's give you this. Clear inventory. There we go. Well, I'm not going to give this as a gift. I'm going to keep that. I just like how I have a parsnip on my head when I'm walking forward or back. No, just forward. Just when I'm walking forward, the parsnip's just on my head. Traveling leveled up. Nice. No problem. Can I give you a gift? Nope. Alright. Let's keep going. No. Don't eat parsnip. Oh, why do you have to be in your room? I can't give you a gift if you're in your room. There's Rosa. No problem. Um. All right, give you this. No, don't eat it. Here you go. Nope. All right. Oh, they got two dogs. I didn't notice that. And then Eloise and her dad should be up here. I think this music is from the end and it's not supposed to be here still, but whatever, it works. Go in. We can. There you go. It is wicked indeed. I think that's what she said. This is wicked. 
All right, we have some more people we can give gifts to, I believe, still. So, you know, if Aideen decides she's gonna leave her room, we can also give her one. But she is probably still in her room. Yep, she is still in her room. Oh. Are you leaving your room? Um, she went into the wall. Um, one sec. What was it? Um, F10? No, not, not that one. Alright. Why are you in the wall? Um, let me take a snapshot of that real quick. I know that was me cheating. It doesn't matter. Ignore it. I didn't go through the wall. I don't know what you're talking about. That's hilarious, though. So wait, can I just, like... Edit? I can edit anywhere around here, too? That's, that's crazy. So I could just... Copy some stuff. And bring it over to my farm if I wanted to. I'm kind of tempted to do that. Like, bring some tidal pools over or something. Can I go in here? I can! Oh, I didn't bring my pickaxe! Oh, that sucks. I'll have to bring my pickaxe next time we come here. Wait up! Here you go. Alright. That's everyone I believe in East Scarp to give a gift to at the moment. I don't think. Wait, is Lexi a NPC we can actually befriend? Oh, I guess the wizard. Well, I think you can normally bring up the wizard's friendship in vanilla, couldn't you? Oh, okay. Well, we have to go see Lexi, so. Fun times ahead. Oh, I, I wish I could just use that lighthouse shortcut. I don't know why I can't. I'll see you guys over there. It's going to take a bit. Oh no, I'm bald. The fashion sense does not work in the water. <laughs> it removed the hair too. I don't know why I did that. That's weird, but it's fine. It'll, my hair should be back. If not, I could put it back on with the mirror. All right, here we are. And Lexi is not here. All right, that was a waste of a trip. Oh my, wait, I could use it? I thought I tried last time and it wouldn't work. Are you kidding me? I became bald for no reason. Oh, we can go see Matteo unless Matteo's over by the uh, mines. I don't know if Matteo's by the mines, but maybe not. Matteo is by the mines. I like how there's a crab on the table with a sword in it. That's crazy. I could, like, bring this over to my place. I mean, I could do that with just furniture, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Bring over the railroad track or something. And my phone went off. I don't know who's messaging me at one in the mor or twelve in the morning, but I wish they wouldn't. All right. Well, let's just sell this. Oh my God. That's getting annoying. I apologize about that. Um, I'm gonna go chop some trees down, I guess, and that's just what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. There's not much else. We do have event at the beach if Vincent is there but I highly doubt Vincent is there okay I'll be right back I'm gonna chop some trees down all right last tree and then we're gonna try something real quick also I apologize about that the, if you could hear the messaging sounds it's because my a friend of mine decided they were gonna just message me constantly with just spamming emojis and stuff so fun times you gotta love it 12 in the morning I did go ahead and chop some trees down. Well, 
I did tell you that. But we're gonna go ahead and go to here. Wait, what's... Oh! Ooh, there's actually a tab for archery. I forgot that was a thing. Yeah, that's, this is a new mod. Archery, I don't... Did I show this off already? I don't remember if I did. Um, but yeah, we're not gonna do this. We could buy better ones at the Adventurer's Guild. But there's something. Glow ring. Two small glow rings? Are you kidding me? Why two? I've been throwing... I've been selling them. I regret it now. Though I don't have the solar essence for it. So I guess it's fine. Alright, well... I'm gonna go ahead and just say let's go to bed. Nice. Plus one leg proficiency. Alright. Um... This one. Alright. That's gonna be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So far, I'm enjoying this. We've done a lot of stuff we probably shouldn't be able to do by day 15, I guess. Actually, I don't know. I think you could make it to floor 50 in the mines on day 15. But buying a hunt, you know, I don't think I should have planted all those strawberry seeds, but we'll see how it works out. We should make a killer amount of money off of it. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.